what we were able to do is give you the Superdome and do it in a way that really modernizes this building. And you start looking at all the things that this building delivers. I know I'm biased, but this is a hell of a building. So we are at Gate B. This used to be a Saints team store. Now, as you can see, it is a massive entry lobby is what we call it. Gate B entry lobby, Northeast. An escalator to take you to two. And as you see above, this is the escalator to take you from two to five, straight. I have a ticket, uh, terrace level. I'll walk around, be redirected, and I'll walk at this atria, which you'll see. I'll go up one escalator, make a turn, and go up a big escalator. And within 65 seconds of hitting that first escalator, I'm at the 500 level. This is for the, ge this is for the general admission guest. And that is, again, the concourse width, the feature bars, and all of the amenities. If we were in the concourse, I would have been behind the counter right here serving you a hot dog. So if you're in a line for to get a hot dog, you are cutting off people from walking. Now, you can be in a line here, or you can go to the restroom. I want to introduce Brad McBurger. Brad works for Trahan Architects. He is a freaking genius. I don't think anybody ever really understood how much space was in a two million square foot Superdome. And so we, we uncovered it. 50 yards from me right now, you are in the Legends Club. If you're standing 40 yards from me this way, you are in the Legends Club. One club, but yet multiple areas to sit, different bars, you have your own concessions on this side as well as that side. A hallway, a passageway, whatever you want to call it, here, gate C, and then at the other end, that takes you to and from the concourse in the lower bowl. For those of you who are kind of or trying to orient yourself, this was the former Bienville Club, but I can stand in this corner and look across and see inside the bowl, see the score, see the southwest corner of this building. Could never do that before. This is what we used to have. This is all we had. So if you had a line for the bathroom here, and a line for the concession, and a line for to move around, you couldn't. Now, with the ramps gone, bathrooms there, and this is what you gain. This huge concourse. And as you see, and we'll walk past it, the 40-yard bar. It's all about technology, right? It's all about how do we get you your food, your beverage, and back in the seat as fast as possible. You'll walk through this market. You'll walk and grab your chips. You'll grab your drink. You'll grab your food. You'll come back. You'll set your food down. A series of cameras, eight of them located, will pick up your QR code. Uh, it's all machine learning and AI. Uh, so we are basically taking pictures of those items. So that when the customer comes in, they put it on the base. Item recognizes it within two seconds. You tap to pay, and then you're out, out, out of the door. Look, we're not done. I want to be clear, we're not done. There's a lot more work to do. If I can ask you one favor, you know, I ask our fans to have some patience. We're not done. We're only halfway through. Uh, we still have a long ways to go, but it's going to it's going to be great. It's at, when it's done, it's going to be great. Half of the building essentially is post renovation. Half the facility is pre renovation. And so you almost draw kind of a line, almost diagonal to where you'd have the areas that are online for the um, completed project. So you have two atria, which we'll see northeast, northwest and you have the east side of the facility. It's a building that we should be proud of, and I'll tell you another thing, the city should be proud of it, and the state should be proud of it.